It's no surprise that women have dominated social spaces since the beginning of time, which makes perfect sense due to their natural proclivity to gather in groups to share resources and information. And over the past 40 years or so, women have elevated said proclivities to daytime television, magazines, and most importantly, social media. Turn off. I could find a man really, really, really hot. The second he sends me an Instagram reel, you're done. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, women have created social spaces, safe ones for themselves that enable them to feel comfortable saying dumb shit like that. But then something interesting started to happen. I guess people don't realize that when you push too hard on one side, you tend to get a hell of a reaction from the other. And that other side just so happened to be men. And over the past few years or so, men have exploded on the scene following in the footsteps of women by publicly sharing conversations that typically happen privately in our everyday social circles. Spoiler alert, the women absolutely hate it. You're okay. a woman that was with a man for six or seven years, and you gave him the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet. You gave him children. You gave him not only one, you gave him two. And yet you did not require him to even bestow the title of a wife upon you. So you go back out into the market, older, with two children, you, and you expect someone in that market to accept you older and bestow the title of wife upon you? That's, what, that's how men look at it. And what this did was generate a dialogue, highlighting the different ways men and women both view one another in the dating marketplace. And if we're going to sum it up in one simple statement, we can simply call it Battle of the Sexes, which so happens to be the title of the video we're gonna be reacting to today. Myron Gaines, one half of the Fresh and Fit podcast, flew to the UK for an episode of Grilling with Michelle Bingley. And guys, I really think this is going to be an interesting one. So before the reaction starts, do me a favor, like the video as it helps with its position in the algorithm, and leave a comment down below sharing a situation in which you thought the opposite sex was doomed. And subscribe for more content. Let's get into it. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, very good. She didn't want to stand up. Typical feminist. I mean, you can, you, you know, it is what it is. You got to play the game, guys. This is how women are nowadays. You know, they want to sit there and think, oh, no, I'm not going to stand up. And it's like, okay, cool. Now I'm going to demolish you in this debate. So what's it like living in Miami? It's good, lots of hoes. Women? Some, but most are hoes. We're about five seconds in and he's already saying the word hoes. Okay, <laughs> and do you indulge with them a lot or? Yeah, she's trying to grow me, but you know, I'm a professional in this black belt with dealing with womanese, so easy mode. I mean, we have them on the show all the time. Uh, we have regular girls as well. So. Oh, what do you do, sorry? I'm not gonna lie. Her accent is doing something. Her accent's doing something. Oh, we have a podcast ourselves where we it's a male self approved podcast. On your oh yeah, yeah, male self approved podcast. Yeah, fresh okay. and fit. Yeah. So you have women on there? Yes, it's a component of what we do. We also do Money Mondays, teach guys how to make money. Uh, oh. Then Wednesdays, how to date properly and get your stuff together. Uh, and then Fridays, we do call in shows or bring in special guests or whatever it may be. But, so do yeah. you think you're quite knowledgeable in the dating field? To a degree. Do you think you have a great understanding of how women work? Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Wow, he said unfortunately, yes. Uh, <laughs> but do I think Myron has a good understanding of how women work? I spent a good amount of time watching the Fresh and Fit podcast, so based on what I hear see and witness overall i'd actually say yes he does however i do not agree with how he chooses to carry out his relationships and i don't agree with some of his views on relationships but for the most part i do believe that it's all coming from a good place i do genuinely believe that he cares about men and wants the best for men and that he really does try his best to educate women 
on how they can be better for the men that they like. So yeah, I do think that Myron understands women pretty well. But he did, wait, he did say, unfortunately, and I think that he's probably going to say, unfortunately, because the more you try to understand women, the more you realize how enigmatic they are and how frustrating they are because a lot of their motivation is driven by their emotion. And since men don't experience the emotional range in the same way that women do, it's quite hard for us to connect and sympathize and help women actually solve their problems, you know, because men are solutions based. That's just how we're wired. And so when a woman is expressing herself, she's expressing how she feels about a situation and how she feels about a situation often is often more paramount than finding a solution to the problem. And so on the podcast, Myron and Fresh, they, they ask a series of questions that spark debate. And oftentimes you'll hear women saying that, I feel like, I feel like, and rather than saying, oh, I think this and I think that. And since they're coming from a place of how they feel, they can't see past themselves in order to even answer the questions. And so I guess the one thing that I'm looking forward to in this video the most is this is a woman from the UK. So she's not part of, you know, Myron's usual pool of women that are on the show from Miami. Is she going to be thinking the exact same way and sounding like all the women that he has on his podcast. My prediction is probably because it's a Western mindset, but we'll see. Unfortunately. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a great thing if you understand the women? Uh, well, the thing is, you can either understand women or respect them, but you can't do both at the same time. Oh. What is he talking oh. about? I don't think that's a true statement. Oh. I think you can either understand women or you can respect them, but you can't do both. Understanding Myron and who he is from the podcast, obviously he's talking about the blatant inequality between men and women, our natural differences and things like that. So when it comes to just comparing a man and comparing a woman side by side, they are not to be respected as equals because they provide different value to one another and to the world. And so again, if you, you can either understand women or you can respect them, I think he's coming from the place of equality. Not necessarily saying that your value as a woman is lesser than of a man's from a human standpoint. But if you're comparing women to men, which people love to do in today's society, it's not the same. And I won't respect any woman that compares her experience directly to mine and says, hey, we're equals. I never do no stupid shit like that. In fact, <laughs> no, that's a topic for another conversation. I think with understanding women, you'd learn to respect them more. The same as understanding a man, you don't, you'd learn to respect him more. No, you can't respect them as equals once you understand them. You'd still respect yeah, them as a woman and what, they, what value they hold I'm and what they bring. I'm speaking from an equality standpoint. Like, I can't respect them as equals since I understand them. And I think that's the way they like it anyway. We can respect each other for their gender, like I will respect a man for being a man and what he provides as a man, and you could respect a woman for the things that she could provide that you could never do. If you I mean, I don't disagree with her, and in fact, I think that that's how most people view it in Western culture. I mean, in, even in Eastern culture as well, but speaking on Western culture, if you clearly understand that there are differences between men and women, and you clearly understand that we provide different value to the world and to what we can provide for each other, then I don't see how you can't run into any form of mutual respect there. I respect my wife for the value she brings to my family and to me directly. And I respect the value that she puts into the world. And I'm very sure if she was standing here with me right now, she'd say the same thing. <laughs> And we just sound like an echo chamber over here. So in terms of just respecting the opposite sex for what they value and what value they bring to the world, I don't think that that's a tough sell. If you understand women, there's no way you can respect them as equals. That's, that's why? my premise on it. Why can't you respect them as an equal? Because we're way different. 
Yeah, but you can still respect the fact that you're different and respect what they're capable of that you're not. Men and women aren't equal. It's just funny how women want you to treat them as equals, but everything that they're actually attracted to and aroused by, most importantly, is not equal. I can't believe what I'm hearing. For example, perfect example. I came down here. I said, oh, give me a hug. What did you say? Oh, well, it's traditional. Kiss my hand. Yes. That did not sound English. Why? So do you think men are higher value than a woman in a relationship? Yes. Wow. Yeah, every time I come on the show, it's just another girl. It's bad. Do you think that men are higher value than a woman in a relationship? I don't think that men are higher value than a woman in a relationship. However, what I can say is, based on what women say that they want, <laughs> they do not provide any value in comparison to the value that they're asking for. But if a man and a woman, they choose each other, they walk down the aisle, they say, I do, they provide value equally in the relationship. Whether this man works six days a week, you know, five days a week, 12 hours, and he's bringing resources into the family, his wife is taking those resources and building him a home and building a safe environment for his children. But when you have a woman out here that provides no value, that's not worthy of being chosen for marriage, but she wants a six foot one black guy who makes $400,000 a year to treat her like a queen, while all she does is just sit around all day and doesn't provide any actual value. Fuck no. No. Down in the same bullshit about, oh, treat me like a lady, but at the same time, I'm equal to you. It's like, what the fuck? It doesn't make sense. If you want to be treated like a lady, that inherently means we're not equal because it's way harder to find a guy that has a shit together than an attractive woman. But it's not necessarily an attractive woman because if, you've, that's if what we all care you're about. looking for is an that's, attractive that's woman. That's what we care about. So you don't care that what values, traditions, what respect levels? Well, yeah, what, obviously what she, she can't be a whore either. It's not that hard to be pretty and keep your legs closed. It's but it's hard. not, is that all you care about though? Yeah. This guy is unbelievable. So you would. Yeah, I don't know why women seem to think that men value the things that they value in men, but in women. You know, we want our women to be beautiful. We want to feel attracted to them every day, all day. We want them to be nurturing. We want them to cook for us. And let's see. That's eating, that's sex, and we want you to provide us with children. So eating, sex, children, you meet those three basic needs and you're not a fucking headache, you're probably going to get a ring. We don't care what TV shows you like. We don't care what color your nails are. We don't care what hairstyle is in season and the fact that you can't wear white after fucking Labor Day. We don't value any of that. You guys may value those things. And in turn, you expect us to value those things in you. But it's hilarious to me when men say, hey, ladies, this is exactly what we like. And this is exactly what we value. The ladies say, well, that's dumb. You should value this thing because that's what I value in you. I think that's quite like offensive to women. In what way? Calling them fat as hell. Yeah, because they're in direct control of every morsel of food that goes in their mouth. That's even worse. Just like a dude is in control of how much money he earns, woman's in control of how much food she consumes. Also, men are in control of how much food they consume, so men can also get it. Well, yeah, it's unacceptable to be fat as a man as well, but it's even worse when you're a female, because at least as a man, you can make up for your lack of aesthetics. Men have to provide value and utility in way more than one way. Women, you guys have one job. Make sandwiches, what more, no, two jobs. Make sandwiches, be hot, three jobs and don't be a whore. Not hard. That is ridiculous. So all you require from a woman and you think all we're capable of as women is making sandwiches, looking good. And what was the third thing? Not, not, being, not a being a whore. Not being a whore. Well, I didn't say. Yeah. So we want to be fed and nurtured. Um, we don't want you to be a whore because we need to know that the baby's ours. We want you to be able to raise children as well. You know, and don't be a fucking headache, man. <laughs> I, I don't think it's that difficult, though, because we're clearly not asking for much, right? Say that's all they're capable of. 
what I'm saying is that these are things that men tend to value. Women tend to think that we care about like their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. Men actually don't want a lot, guys. We're very simple. Women's opinions, of course, are valid. This guy has got everything seriously twisted. But you will eventually, won't you? So if you were with a woman and you were settling with a woman and you were, and you were growing as the business or something, your woman is naturally going to be right by your side, isn't she? So you are going to value her opinion. You are going to respect No, because the reality is when a woman's with a man that she loves, admires, and respects, her opinions pretty much become your opinions. Girls absorb the strongest man in, uh, that they're in a relationship with or that they're linked to. So for example, if a girl has a strong father, a lot of the time she has a very similar worldview to her father. Yeah. If she has strong brothers, she has a similar worldview. If she doesn't have any male, you know, influence, she'll do the thing dumb shit like her mom tells her, oh, man ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. So I can always tell from speaking with a woman if she has a father or some kind of strong masculine figure in her life. I don't necessarily think a man's hard life is harder than a woman's life. I think men have a hard life, women have a hard life, but we have different struggles. Yeah, these feminists are stupid as f if he spent even a day in a woman's shoes, he would know that that is a lie. I think the only thing that's different. I don't know where we get this idea in society that men's lives are harder. I think what ends up happening is that women just take a look at, hey, who's all the way at the top? Oh, Jeff Bezos, man, CEO. Oh, at the time, at Apple, Steve Jobs. Oh, the president has never been a woman. Man. So they take a look at all of these men that are in the highest positions and they assume that, well, it must be so easy for all men to achieve those types of things. No, because most men are poor. <laughs> That's a very, 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 very small percentage of men. And they apply these ideals to the rest of the male population. Again, most men are poor. Like the average male salary, I think, in the United States is between like forty-five and fifty thousand dollars a year. That's not very much money, and women are actually not that far behind it. Men successfully kill themselves more. Men are less educated than women overall. Men are more likely to become homeless and stay homeless. Uh, men are more likely to die in war. I mean, the list goes on. Men are likely to be part of workplace accidents. I mean, come on. Come on. Men are more likely to be victims of violent crime. Men are more likely to go to prison. The list goes on. When you are a man, it is a 24-7 struggle. And that's because you are not valuable unless you can produce something. Whereas all women are valuable. They're born with their value. We cherish and we covet women and children. When there's a disaster, what do they say? Women and children. Women and children. Not men, women, and children. That's everybody. I think she's got it twisted. It's different with men and women is women have a great support system. So any of our struggles are like shared, they're halved. Whereas a man is literally on your own. You don't really have that friendship group that you could go in wow, just release my your point emotions for me. to. No, no, no. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't mean that anyone's lives harder. It just means we, we both have equally hard lives and we no, have we to don't. We must be. Why is it the goal for so many women to equalize everything? Like what, what exactly does that do? I don't quite understand why that is. Because if she can acknowledge that we have different struggles, then you can put the struggles of women on one side and the struggles of men on another, and you can compare those lists across from each other. And you can clearly see that while women struggle a lot in some areas, and men struggle a lot in other areas, men clearly struggle in more areas than women do. And then you can properly deduce that men have harder lives than women do. But for some reason, Women want to equalize everything. Except for when it comes time to who's paying on the first date. I mean, they don't want to equalize that shit. You're not getting a second one. Let's talk about the race. Let's talk about the guy having to build his value up. Let's talk about the guy being useless at 18 years old versus a woman at 18 years old. Everyone's trying to fly her out. She's hot enough. She has an Instagram profile. She's getting offers from dudes that are, you know, $1 million, $2 million net worth, etc. As a man, you have to build yourself up to even be able to get sex. Women are just offered sex. I don't for think that's existence. true, actually, because if you're a good looking guy, like you said, there's plenty of 
women around that, that will happily have sex. If you're good looking. What? Even some of the best looking guys get told no. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? She probably says no so much that she doesn't even realize how common it is for all women to say no to approaches from men. The default response from women is no. And it's up to us to push a little further, be confident in ourselves, have some game, look nice, smell good, and we got to make sure the entire approach is right. If that approach is wrong in any way, it's a no, buy, ill, out of my face, all of that. She thinks it's easy for dudes to, to just have sex, even if they're handsome? What? What? Is she not aware of all the guys that she has in the friend zone probably right now? Right now, waiting for an opportunity. What? Literally, women can wear fuck all. They can have on sweatpants, a, a, a shit stained t-shirt. They don't even have to brush their fucking teeth in the morning. And they can go outside and in less than 10 minutes later, they can be back in the house with the guy. That's how easy it is for them to have sex. Guys will go into public spaces and talk to 100 girls and leave with one phone number. And that shit might be fake. What are we talking about? Looking guy. <laughs> we all know that it's not easy for guys to get laid. If it was, Guys will be watching porn or subscribing to OnlyFans or all this other fuckery that we got going on with sex work. It's not harder for men to have sex. It might be harder for men to have sex with higher value women. But like you said, there's hoes, hoes everywhere. There's women of less value or less attractive than you that would happily sleep with you. So it's not harder. You're just looking in the wrong places. Ma'am, although your accent is cute and all, Y'all know what the fuck you talking about. Well, mo so, most women are boring in general. Imagine as a guy and, you know, hot girls want to fly you out and suck your dick and smash you just for you existing. Would you actually go to the gym and develop yourself? The answer is a profound fucking no. And the hottest girls especially are boring. That's not also very true. I think it just depends on how you're, you were raised and your upbringing and what you were surrounded with. He is wrong. I do not care. That is wrong. There's a lot of people that you wouldn't find attractive that are also boring. There's a lot of people in general. But no one cares about ugly girls. Boring. No one cares about ugly girls. But the, what I'm saying is that <laughs> hot girls a lot of times are boring because they've never had to develop themselves to become attractive, and they've gotten everything that they've ever wanted simply by being hot. So why? Like, I think it's a very small minority why did they need of to people. Develop? Though why didn't, no one gives a shit about ugly girls. Just like no one cares about broke guys in front of 7-Eleven asking for money. You're invisible. Attractive women are fairly common. Yeah, of course they are. They're but fairly common. The attractive women that have had everything handed to them and never had to work and, and never had to build a personality, that's quite rare because a lot of people that I know that are attractive are very great people and they've had not everything handed to them. They've still grafted, they've still worked and they've obtained a great personality. Like women, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but these are women and they're, they're going to treat you a lot differently than they treat us as men. And what he's saying is right. If you're a very, very, very beautiful woman, Doors just open up for you. That shit's automatic. Even if you take the world's most attractive guy and the world's most attractive woman, that woman is going to have a million times more benefits than that guy will ever receive. And that's because, again, a woman's value is provided at birth and up front. By her being beautiful in the first place, She's providing a massive amount of value to any man that's interested already. So she doesn't even have to work hard to get a man's attention. She just needs to go the fuck outside. So she has less incentive on self-improvement because her social strategy and her mating strategy basically just revolves around fucking existing and going to the gym and keeping that body tight. That's just about it. Yeah, but you got to remember that what women are interested in and what men are interested in are two different things. He keeps saying about women don't like men unless they've got money, but I know girls out here that don't give a fuck about money. The reason why I say women live life on easy mode is because 
they reserve the right to be useless if they want. But as a man... I don't think so. Hold on. Well, okay. But go on, How many sorry. useless bimbos do you know that are with rich guys? You probably know a bunch. No, I They're don't. They're stupid. They don't, don't make any money. They don't do nothing. I don't know any. You don't know? Okay, well, in the real world, okay, there's very attractive women that have no skills, yeah. right? That are with exceptional men. And they're able to do so because they're attractive. Now, with that said, I'm not knocking all women out there. If girls want to go to school and make money and be successful, that's cool. But the key is they don't have to. However, as a man, you cannot be a loser and get an exceptional woman. But you can, especially in this generation where women want equality and women want to overpower a man. There's women out there that are doing really Those well. Those relationships never and last. They fight, Those Where do these women come from? The man couldn't have made that any more clear. A woman can get by on her beauty alone. Alone. She doesn't even have to have a fucking high school diploma or GED. She meets the right guy. That's it. But there is no meeting the right woman for guys. It's a natural inequality there. Which, again, proves that men and women are not the same. We're not equals. Do you honestly think that a guy fresh out of college, who barely has a job, who's barely making ends meet, is going to meet a fine-ass CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and she's going to give him the chance of a lifetime? Fuck no. It's so hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's okay for you to want and actually take action on having a guy that's six foot tall, that makes money, that has status, that is attractive, that's charming, that's yeah. good looking. But it's immoral for me to enact on my natural want, which is multiple women. Yes, because it's very different. And a woman, and man, like you said, you're wait, 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 hold on. You know, someone who's let's not Let's make this fat. even more fun, hold on. That's let's the same make this even thing. more fun. This is a perfect example of women thinking that their double standards are more important than yours. So for example, they want to sit there and say, I want a guy that yes. makes money and tall and successful and strong, etc. But if you want multiple women, it's a problem. He is the epitome of delusional. As a man, I have to earn my ability to get a variety of women. You don't have to even earn your ability to get a guy that's six foot, that makes money, etc. Of course you do. Yeah, you don't, you just exist. That's just not true. Just exist. You can't just exist just and just exist. get every man in the world. If you're a So how do you go and get that six foot man then? With all of that money? Tell me how you go and get that. Like, what's the criteria? Like, what do you have to do to build yourself up, to make yourself qualified for a man like that i'll wait for a response i'll wait for a response and let me let me just circle back on that he hit the nail on the head when men say what they want and truly want women cannot accept it so it's perfectly okay for women to naturally want men that are strong tall and that can go and gather a lot of resources you guys have a natural proclivity to want that right and you express it all the time shit men know what you want we know and we're hustling for you and we don't shame you or look down upon you for having those standards because we know that that's just who you are but men have a very natural proclivity to be promiscuous. So when a man expresses, hey, he wants multiple partners, he's the worst fucking guy in the world. And trust me, I get it. Because a man that wants multiple partners is bringing in an outsider that's a threat to the resources that you claim. I get it. I know why you don't like it. I know why you don't like it. The same way we want to sleep around and we don't want our women to sleep around. But the reason we don't want you to sleep around is we don't know if the baby's ours. So you sleeping around is a threat to me. The same as me sleeping around is a threat to you. Now, I know what you're going to say. Well, why don't we just not sleep around and we do this thing one on one? Well, that's what we do now. That's where monogamy came from. Monogamy is a relatively new idea in comparison to the natural ways of things. If you observe the animal kingdom, you'll realize that the males that have the most resources, they get the most women. And humans are no exception to that. In the past, the men that were able to gather the most resources, 
they got to mate with all the women in the village. And the women got a chance to pass on those strong and dominant traits with their future lineages. That's just the way that it worked. But it's just amazing how we we can accept the double standard one way. Right? How is it that you guys stand for equality? When you want the right to express your natural proclivities. But you shame any man that wants to express his. What that sounds like is... I want special treatment. I don't want equality. There's a reason why there's separate leagues for everything. Yeah. Right? Because women suck at most things. That's such a vague statement saying women suck at everything. They do. But how? They, how can you they, say they, women suck at everything? Women are better nurturers. They're better at emotional expressions. They're better at communication. They're better at oh, childbirth. So they're better at making they're sandwiches, better at dealing telling with you. Pain. They, communication. You guys can't even tell us what you want to eat. Hold so on. It's like, I don't know what women you're dealing with because I'm a very straightforward woman. Okay. You ask me where we're going to But I'm in general. You, I was thinking about it since last night. We're what talking I want about to women eat. in general here. I know you might be special. Ooh. Okay, I am special, okay, then, clearly. Fair. She just said women are good at communication. No, women are good at listening to communication and being able to assess the situation. But to be honest with you, they talk too much, they're annoying, and they can't even tell you what they want to eat. So explain to me how they're good at communicating. Yeah, but I just think you've got a really, really bad viewpoint of women. And I think no matter I have how, a realistic great, viewpoint. how great a woman is, you're just going to say, we suck at everything. You guys do. Men suck at everything, You guys then. do. Here's You'll the thing. suck. The reason why... <laughs> The reason why I believe in being a protector, a provider, right, and women not working, etc., is because I know women deep down in the back of their mind suck. Like all the you guys suck, all then. the men, because you're all incapable of a lot of things. You're not emotionally available. Okay. Men are the worst at being emotionally available. Okay. They keep all their emotions in, and then they become enraged. Okay, so being men emotionally, emotionally available makes you less attractive. Suck. A man who's emotionally available is very attractive. Oh, really? Yes. Guy sits there and cries and tells you No, don't feelings. cry. That's being emotionally no, available. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not going to sit and cry every day, though, are you? You can no, cry man. if you're upset. Of course you can. It's, it's natural. And you're going to lose respect God for me. God gave us all of these feelings to feel. And you're going to lose respect feel. for me. I'm and not going to lose any. Yes, I'll give absolutely. you a cuddle. I'll put you on my yeah, shoulder. and, and say, then Baby, your vagina will oh, get dry. Okay. See, this is... Oh, my God, man. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. Okay, so we heard a lot. We heard a lot. So... Apparently, women suck. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what he means by that, but women are not going to receive that message the way that he intends it. So what he's saying is, is that women are inferior physically, right? So they need providers and they need protectors. Their natural proclivities do not encourage them or inspire them to go out into the world and gather resources. Now, I understand that in today's day and age with, you know, modern times and the economy being so bad to where we need two income households, women have to go out and do all of the work that men were doing in the past. But the reality is, and the funny thing is, is that women don't like doing it. If women had the choice to be fully supported without working, I think most of them would choose to do something rather than nothing but they certainly wouldn't be choosing to work 40 hours a week at all. Now, on to the second thing. I do not believe it when a woman says that she wants an emotionally intelligent man. I do not believe it. I think that's something that sounds great on paper. Like, imagine having a guy who understands all of your thoughts and emotions and he can cry with you, and he can open himself up to you, this, that, and the third thing. And it's like the moment he does that, it's it's not attractive. There's a reason why girls like assholes. Do you think assholes are crying every day and, oh, babe, I, I had a hard day. Do you think they're doing any of that? No. But the guys in the friend zone are doing those things. Women live life on easy mode, which means they have a different experience than men do. They have, there's no per burden of performance. Women are born with value, men must earn their value. So what the hell do I look like telling a woman my problems that she doesn't have any idea of, she can't even fathom mm -hmm. because she's a female, she can't give me any real solutions. The difference between men and women is this. When I have problems and I go to someone, I want solutions. Women, you guys just want someone to hear you guys out. Yeah. That's why you guys can come to us with your problems and be like, oh, I feel this way, blah, blah, blah. You guys don't want solutions, you just want to be heard. Cool. Us, I mean, we depends have on the problem. Yeah, but most of the time they just want to be heard. With men, we want solutions. Men are deductive problem solvers. That's why you see the fantastic world in front of you that we have here. We have a very powerful mind, and the right woman is very. Oh, intelligent. going back to what I was saying, yeah, they suck at everything, right? Oh my goodness. So since I. <laughs>
all right, before they get back into that argument, I want to comment on the fact that men are solutions based when it comes to problems and that women just want to feel supported in their emotions when they have problems. That is a thousand percent true. And I actually don't even think anyone's going to debate that. It often pisses women off when they sometimes go to their man and they say, hey, I'm feeling this way and I'm feeling that way because all that signals and that man is, oh gosh, my lady, she has a problem. Okay, well, let me fix the problem because it's going to make her feel better. She's coming to me because she feels hurt and she wants me to help her feel better. That's what's on our minds because we are solutions based. Men don't sit around and brood in their emotions and cry about it. You know, sure, we may do that in some of our social circles, but we're not going to sit there and do it for a week and for days and for days. Even when we do it in our own social circles, our guys are giving us solutions to our problems. We're going to our guy friends for those solutions. And when a girl is going to her girlfriends, she's going to feel that emotional support. And sometimes it's really frustrating when a woman comes to her with her guy and he doesn't give her that emotional support that she needs. And then she'll turn around and say, well, he's not emotionally available or emotionally intelligent when he actually is because he feels connected to you and he loves you enough to say, hey, I don't want you to go through this. I don't want you to feel hurt. I only want you to focus on positive emotions. Let's focus on a solution to the problem so that way you don't have to feel this way again. It's very, very interesting. So interesting. Since I know that women suck at everything, right? <laughs> Since I know that they suck at everything, I understand that the burden of performance is on me. I got to protect, I got to provide. And her job is to be pretty and be there. Like she don't got to worry about nothing. And that's how women want it. That, that's the, that's the, how we want it, but that's not because we suck. That's because we haven't got any good qualities to offer. That's just because that's naturally what we would, would require from a man. And naturally, so you naturally suck? No, I don't Thank naturally suck. Thank you for proving suck. my point. Men actually suck. Like, if we really uh, deep it, men suck. Majority do suck. You all suck. Yeah, you all majority are, do suck. You all suck because even the high value men, you've got sucky mentalities, yeah, where you think you can go and fuck everyone now hold on, hold because on. you've got money. They, well, they have yeah? to earn so that ability. Suck. No, 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 they, they have to earn that ability. They can't earn the right to cheat. You suck okay yeah, you have to earn women right we to are do. loyal we're naturally more loyal we're naturally more caring disagree you have a bad experience with women women are natural. okay so i don't think that anyone should be cheating if that's something that you're going to engage in you just got to let your partner know like hey this is where i'm at and yeah this is where i'm going to be and myron has never advocated for cheating He's always stated that if you're with a high value man, you're likely not going to be the only one he's going to be wanting to lay with. And that's true. So what he does say is that he advises men, hey, if you meet a girl that you want to keep around, you might want to tell her what the situation is and that there's going to be other women. Men don't earn their right to cheat. They earn their right to exercise their options. These are two totally different things. One is sleeping around while your partner doesn't know, and the other is sleeping around while your partner accepts the situation. Those are two totally different things. Actually, terrible. I actually women feel are sorry actually for you. less loyal because women. And here's the thing. I think you need a, a good standpoint. cry. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I think women are. I'm pausing the shit out of this video. We're not even going to be able to get through it all in this in this particular reaction. But why why does she always have to go? to the ad hominem, right? And go for his character. And, and that that's really interesting to me, right? And it's got me thinking. She's like, oh, you're hurt. This is why you feel this way. Men are not motivated by what we feel. We're not motivated by what we feel. We're motivated by success, competition, and we're inspired by our own ability to produce things for the world. However, I realize that women are very motivated based on how they feel. They make long-term decisions based on how they feel all the time. And so when men come out so directly and say how they feel, women assume that their motivation for those feelings is because they've gone through something or they've been through something. And ladies, if you're watching, just because you guys make permanent decisions based on your trauma and some of the things that you go through 
doesn't mean that men do that. No, we, we look at problems very objectively. It's like mathematics. How do you solve for this type of math? Does this type of math have a rule set? Is it algebra where we have to find X? It's very black and white for us. Again, we are inspired by our own ability and what we can produce and a natural competition that exists in men. And we are inspired to produce for you guys. So if Myron has these viewpoints, it's not because he's a hurt, sad man who had a ton of bad experiences with women. No, these all come from observations and his own experiences with women, positive and or negative, but they're not motivated based on how he feels. These are objective views. Okay. Would it be fair to say that you are very picky on who you go on dates with? Absolutely. Congratulations, you just proved my point. Point proven once again. I didn't say I would have sex with everyone. Yeah. I'm saying it's easy to have sex away from me, okay. not with me, away from me. Yes, it is. See, you said you were special earlier, right? Yeah, I am. You just special. gave the answer that every other girl gives. I'm not that obtainable. Okay. But you, Congratulations. you know a lot of women Every are. girl thinks like you do, even hoes. I don't care what he says or how much work he's putting in his calculations, he doesn't understand oh, women. God. It's easier for women to get sex, it's hard for men to get sex. If so you're ugly, you're probably. Ugly as a man? Mm. Even, even attractive guys struggle. That's a lie. That is a lie. There's dating you, coaches out there. You, as an attractive man, yeah. you go to IB for a Marbella, somewhere like that. There's, there's How do I go to Marbella? You fly there. How do I fly there? On an aeroplane. How do I get on an aeroplane? You walk onto it with your legs, mate. Oh, how do I get, how do I get the ticket? You buy one with your money. It's like oh, 20 quid for a okay, flight. And then, okay, and then, if you ain't got 20 quid for a flight to Marbella, sweetheart, you've got more problems than that. From, from, from Miami, Marbella. it's way more expensive. And then Marbella, you think it's but cheap to be in Marbella? you're in Miami. Mar is it cheap to be it's in Marbella? It's a city of hosts, she said. You're missing the big point of you have to have money, which isn't easy to acquire. Not if you live in Miami and you've got all them hoes around you. You don't need anything, do you? Walk down the street. You need to live in Miami. Is that cheap? Okay, I understand now. Yeah. But you've, you've obviously moved to Miami because you've established yourself in life. But I'm saying but if you already easy. naturally live there. That's not easy though. Okay. That's not easy. I'm not, I'm not disregarding your, your, your journey in life of, of where, you've, where you've came from or any man's journey in life of, of building themselves up. Okay. But it is easy to obtain sex. As a good looking man, you can walk up to a girl in a nightclub and nine times out of ten, if she's drunk enough, she's going home with you. I'm sorry, we no, live in a not. generation. All right. I've already addressed this and we're... 30 minutes into the video <laughs> and they're still having the same conversation. So I think this is where I'm probably going to end it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish the video in a different part or anything like that. But overall, this woman in the UK doesn't sound any different from any modern woman here in the USA. So it's a Western culture problem. I don't know where we go from here, to be honest. I mean, we've been having this dialogue for a couple of years and it seems like recently people are really getting tired of these conversations because they end up being extremely circular. We don't really get anywhere. I'm not quite sure what the next 25 years is gonna look like for our future young women, but if they think anything like her, they're doomed. But I wanna highlight one important factor. And this is where we got to start holding men more accountable. Okay. We need to stop simping. Simping perpetuates this nonsense. The only reason that she's able to even stick strong on a lot of these dumbass views is because there is a simp out there waiting in the DMS, willing to do whatever she wants. So that way she can have her cake and eat it too. I got to hold the men accountable here too. Guys, the only reason women are able to hold these views so strongly is because there are too many simps out there helping them to perpetuate it. We need to cut the shit out. We're not helping the problem. We're trying to educate women on how they can be the best women they can be for the men that they want. And we're trying to educate men on how they can be the best men for the women that they want. But we cannot get there if you guys are sliding $500 cash apps to women that you don't know. If you're out here simping and falling over every girl you see, we won't have any hope for the future generations. And you know what? Since I'm closing out this video, I'm going to play a clip that proves my point and 
I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment down below either. Peace. <laughs> don't do that. But why make a man wait a year who's already that's, providing for you oh, that, even as you... That's just like a, a personal thing. After my baby daddy, I just... I'm, nah. I'm going to be real with you. So, like... You're going to be real with him I'm about be, me. I'm going to be real with him about you. So this is the deal. Uh-uh. She's know. used to... Like, this dudes that always try to get stuff. And, like, they think that they pay for it and do whatever they fuck, like, um, provide whatever, that they feel like they can have whatever they want from the female. And that's what she's been dealing with. And I told her, I said, you know what, that's not what I'm about. And it's really not. I love her. I love her kids. You know, we have fun and everything. You know, How many kids? She has two, I have two. I'm more into it about the ending of it, not just the sex part of it.